You are watching Go Live Ultimate. Scores. Kevin Reichert sets up now just outside of that end zone line, throws it in, and there's the first score of the AUDL season. I believe that's Phil Cherosky. No, that is Nate Body for the Columbus Cranes. It's in and upfield looking. Brody Smith going deep very quickly, finding Keenan Plews wide open, and he's going to be in the end zone. So three quick scores here. I mean, not wasting any time after maybe a six-minute first point. Both these squads have gotten off to quick, quick points. Of course, Brody Smith and the man they call Rook Shepard, Josh Shepard to be exact, out of Jacksonville. Uh, and, of course, the Chicago, Jonathan Helton, as if right on cue. Here he is in the end zone. Great throw from Brody Smith, and it looked like Phil Tarosky. He goes deep, finding Nate Bodies there, but Brody Smith catching up very quickly and can't get there as Nate Body scores. Releases the disc and a lot of excitement we're seeing here out of the Columbus Cranes as they now take a four-point lead. <laughs> Waiting for time to expire. He throws the disc up quickly and he's got Brock wide open in the end zone for the score and we're tied again. 17-17, 41 seconds left to play. Brody Smith making it look that easy as he finds Cameron Brock wide open for the score. What a play there by Brock. Let their offense set up. 11.5 seconds remaining. As the defense goes on. There's the deep throw by Revel. The disc coming down in the end zone. It's every man up for it. It's pulled down by Brody Smith. That's why he's on the team. That's why this man has been so adored by the ultimate fans. He throws it. He catches it. He does everything he can. 2.2 seconds, folks, and we're going to overtime. If the Cranes can't find something here with two seconds. What a throw, what a catch. Troy Revel putting that disc up in the air. Every man for himself is Troy Revel. Maybe the biggest assist of the game. Brody Smith, maybe the biggest scorer of the game. Four more times, four, three more times these teams will meet in the regular season. This the first of four meetings. And I look forward to seeing these other ones coming up. As we mentioned, they will meet again on May 12th. Back out on the field. Such a crucial point here for the Cranes. 30 seconds left. They must find the end zone and able to win that and able to draw a tie and head to another overtime. We're going to see that zone thrown on here. And again, that's because of the time and the wind. An upfield play, upwind play. It's not going to be easy for the Cranes as they mark this in. Joe Terrace open on the break. They've broken the cup. Now it's just a matter of getting the disc downfield. Jeff Myers with the disc looking, finds Joe Terrace. 17 seconds left on the clock. It's Reichert now. Open players downfield as there's one defenseman and Helton. The disc going up and there's a blade. It's going to be picked off by Helton and that's going to do it. The Indianapolis Alley Cats, eight seconds, must have one more play and it's defended by Joe Terrace who gets the disc, puts it up, and you've got to be kidding me. The Columbus Cranes have gotten back into this with great defensive play from Joe Terrace. Then he finds Michael Graber tying the score up with absolutely no time on the clock. We're going to overtime period number two. Oh, boy, the Cats had it right there. They had it. Helton had it picked off. He threw the disc up. It started to float, and it was Terrace who comes away with maybe the biggest interception of this game. The game's not over anymore. 21. Alley Cats. The disc is tapped in. It's Terrace working upfield. He finds Jeff Kula, the young carpenter, guarding Joe Terrace. As he tries to get back, overruns Terrace. Terrace had the break throw but decided to go the other way. The Alley Cats now forcing the Cranes to this near sideline. This goes up. Tim Myers gets the dra catch. Quickly works it up to Jeff Kula. Kula now looking for the dump. Doesn't have it. He's got to get rid of it quickly and does. Graber now with the disc looking to go deep. And Brody Smith coming right at him. Graber doesn't appreciate that. Has a few words for him. We'll see what the call is here on the official. The official's hesitant to hand out any flagrants in this game. But I appreciate that. And I think the fans do too. They want to see a good, clean game played between these two teams. Major infraction called 10 yards downfield for the Cranes. Graber now sets up, looking for his man in the end zone downfield. He has Willis cutting. He goes to him deep in that back corner. Three players make a cut. Reichert underneath it. He gets it, and the Cranes get the first victory 
in this match the AUDL it has taken everything between these two squads the Indianapolis Alley Cats find themselves losing their first game of the season while the Cranes celebrate in that corner of the end zone Kevin Reichert gets the last score of the game but maybe the biggest one thus far not maybe that was the biggest one but you take a look at everything that's gone into this game these two teams are going to meet again there's the replay as that disc floats I think initially intended for Willis, but it comes down. Defensive play trying to be made by Helton, but it's Reichert who gets to that disc first and pulls it down. And that's the victory for the Cranes. You are watching Go Live Ultimate.